I sent in the papers and got my mission call, and I was really excited. My, my whole family was really excited. We all went shopping together. We all, we, we got prepared together. Um, we read Preach My Gospel together, and then off to Brazil I went. Part of the preparations of going on a mission are all the exciting things of shopping and collecting and gathering and um, spiritually preparing us, not only him, but ourselves to let him go and to trust in the Lord that he would be taken care of. And that was a challenging thing when we were notified that he was ill and needed to come home. He came to grips with it before we did. I think it was it was hard for us for a few days until we got a call. From the doctor in Brazil that said, and he told us that Judd had to come home, that he couldn't be treated in Brazil. And the peaceful feeling that, that came over us as a family is, un, is indescribable. And I think he had that confirmation before we did, because when he came home, he was ready to do what needed to be done. He, he had thought about being able to, cons to serve here. I still wanted to serve, and I just, how was I gonna be able to do that, whether it was when I was better to go back out or what? And so when I got home, my bishop had prepared a list of about 21 pages of church service missions. When Judd came home, he expressed to me his worry about, uh, you know, what will my friends think? Um, but the ward understood. Uh, we, they were told enough, and uh, enough was shared with them uh, about uh, what he would be doing and the kind of mission he would serve. Uh, and they saw him uh, take that mission on with, uh, with enthusiasm and excitement. And uh, the young men that, uh, that have always looked up to him anyway just look up to him more and realize that, um, that he's a, a shining example of serving where the Lord wants you to serve. Things come together thing, when, when they don't look like they're going to be coming together. You, I mean, you study and you pray and you, you, you read the scriptures and, and you do what you're supposed to. You go out and do your work and you do it willingly and faithfully and, and wholeheartedly. And you turn around and you come back and you have the energy to get back up in the morning and do it all over again, only because you're serving the Lord. The Lord's vineyard is as big as his church is, and his church needs the buildings kept up. He, he needs different things done, not always baptizing the people here. He needs a lot of work done to, to keep the church going. And where there's work, there's work for missionaries.